This great country song, Past the Point of Rescue, was written by Mick Hanley. It's in the key of E minor, which is the relative minor for G major. Some people might say it's in the key of G major. Uh, same chords. There's a nice intro uh, riff for the song using the E minor pentatonic scale. And we look at this and some variations of that of the riffs which are which are used in various parts of the song. So we'll start off with that. Now the E minor pentatonic scale in the open position so they're the notes we'll be using to play this intro. Open, third fret of the sixth string, open, second fret of the fifth string and open 2nd fret also of the 4th string and that note on the 4th string is E so if you look at the tabs we start off by picking 6th string open 4th string 2nd fret second fret, fourth string open and then we hammer back onto the second fret. Then we go to the uh, fifth string, hammer open onto second fret, fourth string the D string hammer similar, open onto the second fret. Let me count that, um, it might help. One, two, three, four. It's the first bar. One, two, three, four. Second bar, we're going to hammer the one beat and hold it for the sec for two. One, two, and then three and four and that's where we're hammering the fifth and fourth strings. Three, four. So those first two bars. Now let's continue on. It's very similar, but instead of going to the sixth string, we go to the fifth string, the A string. So it, the riff is identical except for the starting note.
to continue on again we stay on that fifth string open open fifth string second fret of the fourth string open on the fourth string hammer onto the second fret back to open and to finish off fifth string second pull off and on the sixth string third open and give that third a slight bend So the full riff nice and slowly. The song has a very punchy start. It starts with an upstrom on the E minor chord and straight from there into the intro riff and so on there are a few times in the song where we use a variation of that riff um, one example would be when we're resolving from the A major chord back to the E minor chord at the end of a versatile chorus is strumming the A chord, hammer on the 5th string, onto the 2nd fret, 3rd fret slight bend and 6th. And that will bring you into um, one, one of the intro riffs again. There's another variation we can use um, and it comes in the midpoint of the verses. Holding me tight again. What we're doing there, hammer on the fifth, fourth string open, D string open, second fret open, pull off on the fifth, and the slight bend on the third fret, sixth, open sixth. There's also a slight difference uh, in the riff between the verses. I'll take it from here when we resolve back from the A major to the E minor chord. I'll play that slowly again. There's also a variation of the riff between the verse and the chorus. I'll take it again from the A major chord. Play that slowly one more time. Now the chords used for the song are E minor, D major, A major, C major, and G major. Now the strum pattern I'm using is a good strong 4-4 four, four strum pattern. Um, there's an emphasis on the first beat and the second beat. What I'm doing there is I'm actually picking the root note, which is the sixth string in the case of G major. One strong strum for the second beat. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And 
So I'm actually leaving out the, the three beat there. One, two, three, and four. Now you're going to use a variation as you go through the song. So it could be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Or it could be one, two, three, and four. But the basic pattern I would suggest is pick strong up down up one 